So I believe it's best to not talk upon it. But if you're saying, because uh, of course I, I cannot say anything because of my lack of knowledge about uh, about the Quran, whatever. But this Usman thing that you was talking about, it's not that he distorted it or he took anything out of it. It's just that look, even to to today, yeah, if you read the Quran, look. If you ignore all the, the, the things on top and underneath, all the dots? Yeah, you will still read it the same way. No. It will not, it will not no. affect it in any way. Uh, where so are the you from? Ismani, huh? Where are you from? Pakistan. Uh, do you, can you read and understand Arabic? Uh, I can read it. I can understand a bit of it. But okay. So, are you qualified to tell me yeah. if you get rid of the dots, it's going to give you the exactly the of same thing? Of course crop. I can. Because I don't need to. Look. Look, if I if I read this word to you, let's say Okay, yeah, Rasul, yeah? It says Rasul. If I take all those the ones that are on the top, there's a vowel here, yeah? Which is called wow. That makes the soul. Do you get it? So So Arabic wasn't is written like this in the time of the, so, before Usman. In the time of Uthman, they didn't have the dots. I agree no, with you. No, not the dots. The, the, no, no. the lines. No, no, no. The... No, no, no. Vowels and the dots, like the letter, for example, ta, ba, those two dots. They didn't have that. No, they did. It's just these Abbas, other ones. Abbas, they didn't. I'll show you the manuscripts. I'll show you the manuscripts. But until I find, sorry, I need to get the internet. Until I find my manuscripts, okay? Can you tell me, because you expressed you are Shia, what is the what is the Shia understanding of difference between the word of Allah as the Quran and word of Allah as Jesus? What is the difference? There, there is no difference. There is no difference. I don't get what you, you're trying to say. The word of Allah, yeah. Yeah, as the Quran, yeah. you are telling me there is no difference Quran to be the word of Allah mm. as well as Jesus to be the word of Allah. They are the same. No, no, that's not the same. That's not the same. What is the difference? So the difference here, as it said, let me just get it back up again. Um, was but a messenger of Allah and his word which he directed to Mary. So, look at this one, yeah. okay? This is the manuscripts in Uzbekistan. This is after Uthman. Yeah, so where did... Where are the dots? Can you not see these dots? Can I not see the dot on the noon? Can I not the, see the, the dot? They are not full. They are, are they fully, fully full? So, yes. this is... Push. No, no. Look, no, no. Yeah, look no, 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 don't, don't play that one. So, this is dated, okay? Here's the date, 977. And dots are still forming itself. Okay, let me let me make it much easier. Do you know when is the when do you know the date of the earliest manuscripts? So this is the one in Tashkent. So this is much earlier than the one I showed you. Okay. Okay. Can you point out the dots to me? But none of these letters here need a dot. Just let me, let me just have a look. Okay, yeah, the part. So they need the, the dots fire. for you to understand. Okay. So can you can you repeat for me? You can move forward, you know, that's... Okay, yeah. That doesn't mean you can kick me, sir. Watch out. He did. You are lying. Fuck you. Sorry, I'm lying. I'm lying before. Yeah, okay. So, it doesn't have the dots. Okay, that's fine. So, at the time of Muhammad, they didn't have the dots. Okay? And as they did have, actually they did have dots. They but did are have no dots. dots are entering later. So in this one, this is eighth century manuscripts. It doesn't have the dots, okay? And then the one I showed you from the 977, that one is having the dots, but it's not in its fully forms. So for in Arabic, consonantal letters, taba, all those ones needs a dot, okay? The one you are talking on the tops, they are the tashkils, they are the vowels. Okay, so, um, so therefore, the reason I said the reason I said Uthman destroyed the Quran because according to Sunni sources that Uthman ordered everything to be burned. 
Yeah, okay. Did, did. And that people, people like Umar, Khalif Umar was saying actually, there are, there are the verses supposed to be in the Quran, but which we cannot find. Yeah, you see, this so that that shows me that Quran has been corrupted. Therefore, when I was saying difference between Quran to be word of Allah and Jesus to be word of Allah, Jesus gave himself for us versus Muslims, Muslim caliphs destroyed the Quran. That's the only reason I brought that up. Okay. So now let's go back to the original conversation. So what is the difference? Between Quran to be the eternal word of Allah. He said, "Do not say." The Quran itself is the Quran. He is the messenger. He is the word. I have very little time, so can we? Okay. What is the difference between Quran to be the eternal word of Allah? as Jesus to be the eternal word of Allah according to Surah 4 verse 171. Since you told me, word of Allah is part of Allah. As you're saying that the Quran is corrupted, yeah, I'm saying it's not corrupted because it's been preserved through a chain which I can tell you that chain as well. I can give you that chain. Okay, can you give me the chain of hubs? Huh? The chain of can, what? Can you give me the chain of hubs? The hubs? The hubs Quran. Well which Quran are you oh, reciting? Quran. Quran, yeah. Which Quran give... are you reciting today? What do you mean which Quran? There is that... only one Quran. No, there are not one Quran. There is only one Can you show me another one? Yeah. This is Vorsh Quran? Huh? This is Vorsh Quran? Okay. The one was on your phone is Hafs Quran? Okay. This is Khalid's Quran. They are different from one another. In what way? The writings inside it, they are different. Okay, that's that's can, something we can be focused on. Just a moment. Just a moment. It's okay, I've done it. Oh. You've done it. I've done it. Oh, okay, you did. Okay. So there are differences inside them. Do you want to look at them now? Because you, you said you've got limited time. Yeah, but let's just lose. Okay. Is there a difference between Allah and Muhammad when you, when you, if you are using the word? Would you mean? Is there a difference between Allah, word Allah, and word Muhammad in Arabic? Oh, of course there is. Of course there is. Is there a difference in Arabic? I versus you. In this, in this picture, yeah. yeah, they are different. Okay? So, in the Quran, if it says I, I am amazed, uh, it is Allah. If it is saying you to the Prophet that you are amazed, that is to Muhammad. Okay? So, here's the Quranic verse for you. Open your, open your, um, open your phone. Surah 37, verse 12. Thirty-seven. Surah 37, verse, t 37 verse 12. Yeah. Read it again for me. But you wonder why they mock. So, you wonder why they are mock. Okay, so, you, to the Muhammad. Okay, in here, this is, this is, Khalid's Quran, in here it says I instead of you wonder, in here it's I. Check the Arabic. Uh, which verse is that? Surah 37, verse 12. So look at the Arabic words, okay? Arabic words are written differently. You can see? Look, it's here, this one. Mm -hmm. So you've got, you've got two dots, you've got two dots, and then you've got line. Can you see? Egypta. Yeah. And then in one of them is I, in other one is you. So that's changed the full doctrine. Is it Allah amazed or is it Muhammad amazed? Okay, so that's just one of the example. I can give you 93,000 differences. That's a different topic. But okay. I'm still, I'm still trying to understand. Yeah. As you stated that Quran is the eternal word of Allah, it is the part of Allah, and then according to Surah 4, verse 171, Jesus is the eternal word of Allah. Jesus is the word from God, which is cast into Mary. Right. So what is the difference between Allah, between Quran and Jesus? Between Quran and Jesus? Yeah. 
So, yeah, have you ever looked uh, into Surah uh, Mubah? Surah? Uh, Give me the numbers. I'm better with Surah numbers instead of names. Just this one. Trans, give me the translation, I might know. Oh, so, who your sons, we uh, who call our sons, who your daughters, we call our daughters, and who your like, and we call our likes, and who curse, um, who invoke a curse upon the liars, yeah, by supplicating. So what is it has to do with what I'm asking? So, so now Christians, uh, two Christian priests, yeah, they came to the Prophet and they said that um, that Jesus is the Word of God and Jesus uh, is the Son of God. So they challenged this fact. Yeah. Now in the Quran, yeah, the Prophet said that who we'll challenge you and who we'll supplicate to Allah and invoke a curse upon the liars. Yeah. So that they came, they they invoked that curse. There's a whole so, the whole so Abbas, my question is very very simple. You believe Quran is the eternal word of Allah, okay? And Quran also states that Jesus is the word of Allah, which cast into Mary. So my question is very simple. But where does the if 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 the word of Allah steps into the tummy of Mary, and then Mary gives birth, that means something. Okay, but so, God has spoken His word through Jesus. That's what you're not trying to. Hear. But it's verse doesn't say that. Huh? Verse doesn't say that. Verse identifies Jesus as the Word of God, Word from God, yes, cast word. into. So you are not Word of Allah, are you? Of course not. So Jesus is the only Word of Allah, alongside of Quran, of alongside of Quran. Who is the other one? Huh? Who is the another being identified as the Word of Allah? Well, I can say many things, but don't worry about that. But Jesus is not the, o the only word of Allah. Who is the other one? Hmm? Who is the other one? Muhammad is the name, uh, is the word of Allah. So, Muhammad, where is it? Muhammad is identified as the word of Allah. There is nowhere Muhammad is identified as the word of Allah. Muhammad gives birth to the word of Allah, but Jesus himself is the word of Allah, as it, as well as. Quran is identified word of Allah according to Islam. Yeah. So let me make my point. I know you got it wrong, but let me make my point. According to Christian scripture, okay, so Islam has lots of things to understand. Islam needs to understand how come while Allah is one, yet he has got these attributes are separated from him or part of him, which doesn't make that much sense at all. Islam needs to explain to the humanity how come while Allah is one and only there is nothing Allah, yet his word steps into the world and eaten by a sheep? Islam needs to explain how eaten come... By a sheep? Yes, according to Sunni sources. You didn't know the adult breastfeeding verse? Is it adult breastfeeding verse? Which is no. eaten by a sheep. Aisha, Aisha testifies that. I know Muslim says Aisha is a liar. Shia says Aisha is a liar. But according to Sunni sources. So, Islam needs to explain that. Also, Islam needs to explain Jesus is identified as the word of Allah. So you've got no explanation to me, and then you said there are not much difference between Quran to be the word of Allah and the Jesus to be the word of Allah. And let me, let me bring it something to your attention because that's how the conversation the started. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus is the word of Allah. But the Quran. Yeah. Who else? No one else. When it says when it was mentioned the word of Allah is talking about the the scripture which was given to Isa through him. It doesn't say that because it identifies I know it doesn't say that, but in that's Surah what it's No. Like are you trying up for, how old are you? Are you trying to tell me? It is so no. Because listen this carefully. You are trying to tell me actually, actually Allah 
failed with his communication skills. Allah meant something else. Allah didn't, Allah meant something else. And that's not the verse says. Therefore, I am going to unpack what Allah is saying. That's the problem. In the, you know, in the Bible, uh, the, the verse about um, the word is God, the word was with God, and so on. Where does that's it what say I was going to come to that. That Jesus is the word of God. Yeah, let me come to that one. That's fine, I'll put it up. That's fine, that's fine, I'll put it up. So, let me first, let me, actually, I'm grateful that you brought it up, because it's going to give, give you the reason why the Word of God becomes human and dwell next is dwelling among us, okay? So John chapter 1, read with me. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him, all things were made. Without Him, nothing was made that has been made. Through the Word of God, everything has been made. Everything. Okay? In Him was life. And that life was light of man. The light shines into the darkness, and the darkness has not understood it. Let me, let me come to that. Let me come. The Word become flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of only begotten who come from the Father, full of grace and truth. Okay? It's not shit. So, say no more. We're done. Just be careful. They are students. Just be careful. Don't worry, boys. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna walk away, that's absolutely fine because you identified yourself as Shia and they are Sunnis. They don't get on well with it. Okay, okay, that's fine. So in here, I don't care, We are all brothers in faith. They don't think that. That's absolutely fine. Okay, that's absolutely fine. So, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Okay. 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 And then everything was created by the Word of God. All right. Okay. So, and uh, you know someone called Abraham. Abraham, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So in here. You got a lot of notes in Rich. My heart is rich. Lord Jesus Christ gave Himself for me. So, I want to read the conversation is taking place between Abraham. Okay. After this, right. the word of Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Mm. Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield. Your, I'm your I am your shield. Okay. Your very great reward. But Abraham said, O oh, sovereign Lord, what can you give me since I remain childless and the one who will inherit my state is Eliezer of Damascus? And Abraham said, You are you have given me no children. So a servant in my household will be my heir. Listen this part very carefully. Then the word of Lord came to him. This man will not be your heir, but a son coming from your own body will be your heir. He took him outside and said, so word of God is talking to Abraham and then taking Abraham outside. Okay, okay so far? He took him outside and said, look, Look up the heavens and count the stars. Mm. If indeed you can count them, then he said to him, so shall your offspring be. Abraham believed the Lord and he credited, him, credited to him as righteous. He said to him, I am the Lord. So, who is speaking to Abraham? God speaking to Abraham. So God is speaking to Abraham. But God is saying, I am the word of God, and I am the Lord. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay? okay. And then we read in John chapter 1, okay? It's not only like speaking, taking word of Lord is taking Abraham outside, talking to him, making promises, and then taking, taking him outside, and then says, I am the Lord. You come to John chapter 1, which we read, 
in case like you're too rich man sorry no no in case like something goes wrong like i i lost my things okay and then you come here and then it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and word was god he was with god in the beginning the world become flesh and made his dwelling us so the word of god which abraham came and spoke came to abraham and spoke. so you do not reject this so according to this then the word of word of god is not it's just that you need to understand i think you need to research more shia perspective you get me so I do by doing that you will understand my position so in that case am i right to understand that you believe as jesus the eternal word of god who come and dwell among us okay so also do you believe as the eternal word of god jesus who came and dwell among us he says to the people i give eternal life i am the life i am the resurrection and that eternal word of god died on the cross by crucifixion do you believe that D died, died on the cross crucif by, by no. crucifixion you don't believe that why don't you believe that because i believe that at the, at the right time yeah uh, god picked him up elevated him to to the fourth sky and uh, judas was killed instead of him where did you get that information huh? where did you get that information can you give me one can you give me reference right now because i looked at the islamic two I, i looked at the islamic teachings and i didn't come across with that story okay yeah